That first half, uh, from your perspective, what did you see was the biggest issue there? Force. They came out with force. We came out dead. Uh, we just had no legs, no life, nothing. Uh, couldn't make shots, couldn't get stops. It was just a, the total avalanche. And then we go into halftime, we regroup. We call each other out on where we were weak, where we let each other down, and somehow we come out and we win the second half. So, you know, we just got to find a way to put it together. And, uh, you know, I'm going to keep, I'm gonna keep uh, going at it until I can figure out how to get these guys to play 48. And to that point, Coach, obviously when you're dealing with a young team like this, there's going to be ebbs and flows. But what are you finding is the most effective with your guys when they come out and have a quarter or a half like that? You know, it's different stuff. Uh, you know, sometimes when I go off, <laughs> they respond. And, and there's days that I have to, you know, kind of calm, calm them down and just get them playing basketball. But uh, different days, they respond to different things. But the, the key is I just got to get them to be able to lock in for 48. And in that third quarter, you know, they, they put a good run together there. What did you see there that they were doing differently? Uh, you know, we made a slight adjustment on the pick and roll. I thought that helped us. Uh, but, but really, at the end of the day, we just competed harder. We rebounded better. We challenged shots better. We shared the ball, uh, you know, the first half. And <clears throat> it's amazing when you, you tell somebody, hey, the one thing you can't do in Utah is take quick shots. And, you know, sure enough, it was one after the other. Before we looked up, it was 15, it's 20. It's, and then every guy is trying to will us back from a 25, 20, you know, 28 point lead. And that just kept digging the hole deeper. And when you're trying to defend the pick and roll in this league, it's hard enough. But then when you've got Rudy Gobert in that pick and roll, what makes it so exceptionally challenging? Vertical spacing. I mean, the guy can go up to the top of the backboard. So even if uh, they can't get them to lob, if they just get it up to the glass and your big is engaged in the pick and roll, now it's a, a jumping contest on the glass. And so uh, he, he's a special player that way. He puts a lot of pressure on the rim on one end, and he really protects it on the other end. How were the Jets? Go ahead. Uh, what, the, what happened with uh, Moody? A uh, mild sprain. Yeah, mild sprain. Was that your... At halftime, were you as angry as you have been all season? Or? My assistants took care of that today. Um, Caleb and, and Coach Smart, uh, they went off on them pretty good and got after them. And, and through trust and a lot of love, I think those guys had a right to go off on them. And, and the guys responded. I just tried to make some tweaks, get us regrouped. And, uh, you know, I, I was happy with the way that we came out and played the second half. How were the Jazz bigs able to get the – your, your guards right up against the rim so many times in that first half. That length and, and like I said, those guys, they really get up vertical um, and they, they do a great job of challenging shots at the rim. Um, and their guards do a great job of pursuing and competing on the ball as well. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a deterrent when you come off a pick and roll and you see Rudy back there or, or Derek back there. Uh, it slows your guard down, which gives their guard a real chance to compete harder on the ball. So. Uh, they got a top five defense. Quinn has built this thing out over, you know, five years uh, where they've now, they really know each other defensively and know how to read each other and, and react within their system. You guys, you guys uh, obviously, you know what a tough trip this is already. How do you, I don't think you've probably ever had to approach this in your career, something like this, where your six game road trip, 40 point loss. And hey, it happens. I got, oh, trust me, I have. Yeah. I, I went in with deeper teams, more veteran teams, but even those, the best teams I've ever been on, uh, even at home, we've been smacked by 40. Uh, so it happens in this league. It happens to the best of them. Uh, and I think we've seen that numerous times already this year. My job is to keep these guys focused on getting better and every night coming out and competing. I didn't think we started the game out competitively tonight. I'm not sure if you've won a game since Mitchell Robinson has started missing games. I mean, how, how much do you, what are you missing about him? It's because our, our, we're already, we already struggled defensively, and so when he's out there, he bails us out a lot with his shot blocking and shot changing. Um, and then he also puts a lot of pressure on the rim for us on the offensive end, which gets guys open shots. So he's definitely, he's, he's been missed uh, some. And so, uh, you know, hopefully we can get him back in the mix soon.